Hello and welcome to Pillars of Eternity 2. We are in Port Maya looking for perhaps a ship right or at least some companions. I don't know. Oh. Please, everyone stay calm. The man at the center of attention appears to be fielding uh, injuries from both the gaggle of uh, townsfolk gathered around the platform and the rather severe looking Amana woman standing just beside him. Please, everyone remain calm. <laughs> I assure you I will do everything in my power to get you the answers you need. Our friends among the Huana. What is a Huana? <clears throat> A tribal civilization primarily comprised of island Omana, which has thrived in the Deathfire archipelago for thousands of years. Though largely decentralized, the Huana share common values steeped in mythology and a sense of guardianship over the isles they call home. <coughs> okay. Have offered you hospitality and safety from the storms. The Amana woman folds her arms. Yes, yes. I think we are all keenly aware of the debt of gratitude we owe to the... I have personally seen to the safety of your homes. Now you will do the same for our families. What about our families? Yeah! What about my ship? What about the ships? <laughs> How are we supposed to feed ourselves? Yeah, that's right! If everyone would... <clears throat> As Claudio's gaze sweeps across the crowd, it falls upon you, where it remains. A few more heads turn to see what has caught the governor's attention. It's one of the pirates. No! <clears throat> At this alarmed cry, the whole crowd turns to regard you. A startled, expectant hush falls upon the gathered throng. I'm not a pirate! Damn, I wanna say I'm a pirate. <clears throat> My ship ran aground just south of here. I need help? That's maybe too much information. Because uh, you you might not wanna seem weak. It's true that I need help. And saying that publicly could just uh, point out how incompetent the, major, uh, the mayor is. And uh, maybe that will encourage him to deal with the pirate problem. Or at very least... Send us on our way. <clears throat> no, no, I think I can defend myself from looters. So let's just try to make this b look bad for the mayor. I need help. Pirates. Well, they can check my story, like... <sighs> so, I need help, guys. Two of my guards <clears throat> reported a ship flying deer wooden colors. Fallen prey to a private vessel. That would be your ship. I assume. Exactly, they already know about me. The crowd quiet somehow at that, though you still find yourself the target of a few glares. That would make her lucky. Your own vessels do not usually fare so well. The woman regards you with bland curiosity. Quite. What? So you'll help? Um We'll do what we can, of course. Nice. It staves of a few protests. With a raised hand. Perkamplank, everyone, forgive me. I believe this matter requires my attention. You have my word that I will keep you apprised of any changes. Huh. Okay. Perkamplank, a valiant term meaning literally for mercy or for little mercy, which is taken as come on now. <clears throat> Especially you, Mr. Ekawa. Do not flatter me with Valian titles. You are distracted with your newcomer and wish me gone. But I will not go far, Governor Clario. Great! We can... Well, the mayor is gonna help us. Grade. As for you, stranger, let us speak at my estate. We'll discuss your... predicament. Brave or defiant? <clears throat> Feel like Feels like I'm real-time googling the words these people are using. <laughs> okay, uh, thanks for that. Where exactly are we gonna talk? Aren't you the mayor? Oh, you're the sailor. I followed the wrong guy. Damn, I don't know where they are now. <clears throat> Come there. Oh, as far as I know, anyone that cannot be interacted with is probably blue. 
Or maybe I'm wrong about that. The Valiant Trading Company owns just about... What? I can't read that fast. At least, I can't read out that fast. <clears throat> or it would, it would sound silly. Okay, there's definitely a little bit of get-together here. Uh, let's just talk to Soti. Accept the light, and you shall be redeemed. Pass. Hard pass. A woman shouts, arm raised and wide. In each hand, she grips a golden candle. The flames gutter vilely as she gestures to the crowd before her. The missionary holds a candle to drip wax in the shape of three stars on the forehead of each kneeling worshipper. One of them stumbles back, swiping the hot wax from his skin. <laughs> I did not sign up to be burned. Valiant expletive or curse. And we already found the governor. I I'm not gonna get into that. I'm just gonna watch. The priestess trembles her arms, face pinched with disappointment. In the warm sea breeze from the port, loose strands of her sun streaked hair whip about her head like a living ha halo. This flame is not for purification. It is for illuminating the darkness. Sanctification comes only as a result of your journey. But the light will guide your way. She tilts her face toward the sky. Eyes shut, she drags a shaky hand to dribble wax across her own brow. Aethus has returned at last, but it's <clears throat> not too late to redeem ourselves. Religious crazies right away. As surely as my fingers are webbed, I tell you, gone, never left. Gone is an aspect of Eotas associated with death and harvests. His implements are symbolically important. The sickle reaps what is sowed in life, and the lantern guides the deceased down their intended paths of deaths and rebirth. It is generally believed that Gon, instead of Berat's avatars, visits those who embrace death with acceptance and understanding. His most fervent devotees are known as Harvesters of Gon. Okay. <clears throat> Despite her contrary words, the Huana woman shrugs, accepting the golden vex. We need to kind of uh, get on, uh, well, get to know these uh, words and trivia. So apparently they attribute uh, death and harvest to Eotas in these uh, region. <clears throat> okay. Sakes alive, Wangliss. Ain't we got more pressing matters to attend to than a baptism? Yeah. Arms crossed over her chest, the shorter, duskier woman watches the ritual with an ordinary sort of expression. Her delicate chin jutted up. We just missed one of the biggest reapings of all time. What about the souls that need us? What happened to the narrator? Why do I have to narrate? I don't mind that. I think I'm fine at it. And it's fun. <clears throat> As she steps forward, she reaches for a peculiar looking lantern strapped to her hip. Do not push me on this, you wayward child. You'd leave the living for Lauren to service the dead? Yeah. Rather than discouraging the other Dawnstar, the accusation seems to kindle a stubbornness inside her. Shoulders set, she grins. Here, I'll them all at once. Yeah! Metal clanking, she sways an irrelevant lantern in an intricate pattern before her. The priestess bites her lips, swinging harder and faster. Lit arms hurtling the weapon with a deceptively hidden strength. Until she thrusts it hard out and out toward the crowd, splattering everyone with wax. Now this is went too far. Wipe a glob of wax from your shoulder. That's one way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go with that. Hell yeah it is. I call that the Hell <laughs> okay. Beyond Okay. Grinning, she turns to get a good look at you and promptly chokes. What? Are you by any chance looking to help the people I saw die in my dreams? That's a very <clears throat> odd way to say hello. She ducks her head, cheeks flushing prettily. I'm 
guessing you're not here for the baptism. No. You dream people died? I probably wouldn't be so open about that. Uh, in a small uh, town like this. <clears throat> sure did. I get those kind of dreams sometimes. The ones that turn out true. Yeah. Nightmares more like. Terrors that come true. She rubs a palm over the back of her neck. Had him since I was a little girl on the farm. Guess Gon was speaking to me even then. Mm hmm Some of our brethren suffer from these visions more than others. While some of us, favorably, have none at all. It ain't a curse. It's a blessing. A mark of the divine. Salty shrugs. Yeah, I'm looking for that big ass statue. Uh, the one that's inhabited by Iotas. I knew it. She clenches her grip on the sickle in her right hand. Gon's been calling me here. Left the breadcrumbs in my dreams. Yeah. <clears throat> You're probably a cipher. And don't get too crazy about Iotas. I need to get inland. If you're going, I could help you. Swear on my soul. Hmm. Why do you want to go there? There are souls needing their last rites. I ought to shine them the light, else they might get lost. Hmm. Enough nonsense, Choti. No one knows Choti? if anyone's even died. You've no business going in there, risking your own safety, risking our mission. Wangleth, you got the living and I got the dead. Gone bids it and I dreamed it. Leave it be. We all serve our purposes. So what's yours? I am a watcher. Yeah. I can't regret not having a proper name at this point. I'm a watcher, actually. So you can see souls? <laughs> That's a handy talent to have. I know my harvesting would benefit from it. And here you are, following my god. I'm a little disturbed you said, said that. Watcher, will you take me with you? Hmm, that's pretty forward. <clears throat> a fine proposition, I enjoyed the company of a priestess. Why does that sound a little bit suggestive? I know an offer rare as hen's teeth when I hear it. Yeah, I'm taking it. She beams brightly. You won't regret this. I bet I won't. She steals a shy glance at, at there. Oh, come on! Uh, hey. Heather half nods without looking in Sota's direction. He seems suddenly focused on something in the distance. A tad too eagerly, she saunters close beside you. At least take care, child. Come back to us in one piece. If not for my sake, then Sawin's. The older priestess sighs, shaking her head. So don't tell her. What the high priestess doesn't know won't hurt her. Grinning, Sodi waves her brethren a cart parting. A cart parting? Okay. Priest monk or a priest monk? I don't know. Let's just make her a priest. I suppose that makes the most sense at this point. Priest monk? I don't know. She can level up as well. She has some abilities. Like Blessed Harvest. You can also give her AI. Sotis Lantern. Sotis Sickle. Huh, interesting. Combat only. Is that like one per rest? One per encounter. So if I use that. I can't use it? Oh, combat only. Makes sense. Restore. I can level up Soti. She's good with alchemy and arcana, so I guess you you can be an alchemist. Diplomacy. Uh, that's good too. Ooh, I don't know. Already have blessed harvest. Immobilize for 15 seconds. One target. Insightful. Perception. To a group of targets. 
How long though? 20 seconds. Actually, I don't know about her stats. Yeah, yeah. Let's cancel the level up. So, what do you have? It's pretty well rounded, so... Yeah, there's nothing really that stands out here. But she's definitely not exceptionally intelligent. Uh, that's what I was checking for. How long we can get the buffs uh, going? All defenses for 10 seconds. Holy power, strong. Buff everybody around the caster. Don't I have restore already? I do have restore. Dazed. That's the only thing that does damage. I don't know if I care about perception that much. All defenses for 10 seconds. That's not too bad. So are you like a priest of Eatas? Harvester of Gone. Okay. What is your setup? Okay, medium armor, bit of hood, sorry sickle. This doesn't affect the accuracy, but makes the restoration skills and e for each monk resource per skill per kill. Okay. Yeah, personal inventory, a crossbow. That could be nice. Does she have any weapon skills? Not even sure where to check it. I think she does have. Yeah. She's good with crossbow, hatchet, small shield, and unarmed. What? Yeah. Hatchet and small shield. So we can go hatchet, uh, small shield, or crossbow. That's her preference. Yeah. Empower, one per encounter. Never mind that, so we got a new guy, new girl, Dawnstar. Beota's light shine upon you. Banglet. That seems like uh, those who can be interacted with have their name Leave it over them. I might need to change the formation here. Like something like that. That should be fine. Let's see. The children of the dawn stars. I wondered if we'd run into them down here. There's someone I used to know. Just a, an old friend. Came out here to settle with them last I heard. Maybe we should ask around. See if she's still out here. Might be she can help us. Sounds good. Just a friend, huh? So he rubs her back of rubs the back of her neck. Clearly uncomfortable. What? Sorry. <sighs> Eder, I I have to say, you might have a fangirl here. How did you know her? Oh uh, well, both grew up in Gilded Vale, same temple. Your cheeks are red. <sighs> or self insight. Okay. You're eager to see her, but you're trying to hide it. Why? All right, all right. We, we used to, uh, you know. Well, no, go into detail. <laughs> she was real loud, too. Used to have to cover her mouth or she'd get the dog howling in the next room. So this face models bright red and she turns away, hand covering her eyes. Sounds like a special woman. <laughs> I knew you'd understand. You're gonna like her. I got a good feeling. Why does an islander get paid the same as I? Hmm. They're bigger than you. And they haul cargo <laughs> without whining good, about good it. Good reason. It's not right. Uh, I may have limited my uh, romance options by being a woman. 
But I, I just wanted to be a woman just because, just to mix things up. I play both genders. The Kraken's Eye. Yeah, we're just gonna put it in the stash. Take all. Sailors. What can you s say to me? I wish there was a setting. Maybe I'm gonna look into it. If you make the conversation options stay on a little longer. Hmm. The Kraken of Upper Floor. Yeah, maybe I wanna go to the Kraken. Wow, we already got a companion. It's crazy. And Xota is hella embarrassed. Hmm. Uh, how does it work? You inhale. It isn't complicated. <laughs> okay. Norgund. Ha, maybe I was wrong. Mechanics too low. Yeah, we definitely need someone with mechanics. My main character doesn't have it. Ah, a new face. You heard, of course, that Norgund remains the most reliable and discreet supplier of mostly legitimate wares. What? You're you're suggesting that not all your wares are legitimate? Are you looking for something in particular? Mostly legitimate? I am an honest merchant, madam. But I confess that the tools I supply have an unjustly sinister reputation. How my clients decide to use these items is not my responsibility, after all. Right. Um, show me what you got. A lockpick. Okay, that's good. Wait, what? That's all you got? Do I want to buy lockpicks? I might. Okay, we bought lockpicks. Stash. Anyhow. <clears throat> Retrain character? Wow, I can do that? That's amazing. I know, like, this could be controversial, I suppose. Some don't like it, but having the option doesn't hurt at all. It just gives you the freedom to do whatever you want and don't worry about the outcome. Uh, leave anyway? No, 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 I'm gonna buy that. That's fine. It's just a little peace of mind. For those who are... I would spend like bloody years trying to make a decision and worry that it's gonna turn out to be the wrong one. I'm always a big fan of... Uh, just giving freedom to the player. If you want to play without it, I, I sometimes play without it. And it's totally fine. But having the option doesn't hurt. And this is awesome. Anyway, it uh, seems like we can't pick locks. I'm pretty good, huh? Yeah, that's not gonna work. We not only need well, lock picks, but also need mechanic skill. And I don't have that currently. That's why I was somewhat uh, considering st a starting character with mechanics. Down also, a dare. And the rest is scattered across town. There must be someone. Could have picked it up as well. Commoner, what's up? It smells like him pissing here. Okay, Commoner. <clears throat> Port Maya. Oh, that's stealing. Can't take it. That's all stealing, right? Yeah, that's all stealing. What about Toro? Sorry, we haven't any rooms for you. Well, that's a bummer. <clears throat> the rather large man behind the counter glances your way, smiling gr grimly. Guessing you're the one came in off that shipwreck down south. Not sure if that's good luck or bad, but. Here, I figure you deserve a drink. He slides a murky pint of ale across the counter towards you. You gained an item, ingredients, ale. The item was put into your stash. Thanks. Uh, 
what I really need is someone. Well, no, 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 don't be rude. Can I say thanks? Oh, thanks. What's about the rooms? We're full up. You aren't the first outsider to turn up looking for a place to stay after their ride off the island ended up at the bottom of the sea. He pauses, fixing uh, you with a considering eye. Well, tell you what. I've got one room or two have been cleared out by now. Only the occupants decided to outstay his welcome. Real trouble is, he hasn't settled his bill. Oh, right. He's a merchant captain by the name of Galleon. I've given him a fair chance, but he's been a right prick about the whole thing. I've got a spare key here. You chase him and his pals off, and the room's yours. At a discount. <laughs> you want him dead? <laughs> Come on, don't be a dumbass. What if he won't leave willingly? Ah, well, he's a prat, but he's not so tough. Smack him around if it comes down to it. But I figure a few sharp words ought to do the trick. You want him dead? What? No. I said chase him off, not kill my patrons. Now I'm not so sure about asking you, honestly. <laughs> I, I, I would just... Okay, sure. I'll see what I can do. I appreciate do. it, truly. I'll have someone tidy the place up for you once you're through. Chances are they've spilled ale just about everywhere. I don't want the man dead, and that's not what I'm paying for. Just see him on his way, and we'll call it done. With a final nod, he turns away. <laughs> Great. So not that. Oh, damn. He might just die anyway. Sure. Oh, nice. Hey, what's it over here? I can take it. It's not stealing. <laughs> <laughs> Steal from elves. <laughs> Oi, what's going? Remember ordering more drinks. Galleon. Hey, Galleon. Thought I'd locked that thing. The glassy-eyed gentleman before you bears the miserable expression of the recently sober. He also smells like he's been picking in a cask. Pickling in a cask for a few days. You've got the wrong room. I know you company ladies like to wander in and wave the flag anywhere you please, but kindly wander back out again. He makes a mocking sweep of the arm and nearly unbalances himself. Try not to slam the door on your way out, yeah? My head's going to pieces. I'm here for the rent. Oh, I. You running Thorold's errands? Well, I haven't got his pay, and he knows it. Come back tomorrow. Better yet, tell him I'll swing by myself when I do have it. You can leave on your feet or get dragged out by the ankles, your choice. Yeah, intimidate him. Galleon sneers for a moment, but something in your expressions squatches his confidence in a hurry. He scratches nervously at his beard. All right, all right, just... Keep your boots on. We're leaving. Thorol wants us out on the streets so bad, so be it. You serious, Galleon? Where are we supposed to go? The Amana woman uh, glovers at you before following him out. Galleon is gone! That's our room now. Time to loot it. Hmm. Roll of Ray of Fire. Cave Coral. Sure. So I guess we didn't need mechanic skills after all. At least not yet. Also, it might seem like... It does seem like at this point that you might not need to max a skill on one character. You just have to make sure that you have like... For example, if you have like... Uh, five points into Arcana across three characters, then that that's a, that's a five, I guess. I don't know. I'm not so sure how it works, but it seems like you don't necessarily have to have a, a character that has, like, super high. You don't have to specialize in it, necessarily. But we'll see. Commentaro. Still kicking, eh? What'll it be? I cleared the room for you. Hey, good work. 
Times like these, I can't afford to keep on anyone who can't pay their tab. The second word got around, I'd have every pauper in the city on my doorstep. The room's yours if you want it. And for a job well done, here's your pay. 1,200 copper? Amazing. Still kicking, eh? What'll it be? No, oh, anyone looking uh, to make some coin? I need someone who can hold their own in a fight. Folks come by here all the time hunting for work. Let's see who we can scrounge up. Yeah, I don't wanna jerk this dude. I wanna have uh, still kicking, eh? Story what? characters, but it's nice to have that option. I like to hire some crew members onto my ship. Not much point to that without a ship. <laughs> Come by when you've got work to offer, and we'll figure something out. He smiles ap apologetically. Apologetically, whatever, man. Let's see what you got. You had to what? Just some food. Still kicking, eh? Uh, what, what can you tell me about Port Maya? Guess you haven't exactly seen the prettier side of the place since you landed, right? It's the only town on the island, if you don't count Sadahuzi, little Juana village out west. Really is a decent place most days. Good trade and plenty of money rolling in from Claudio's investors. Damn sight quieter than back home, but I don't have to tell you about the Deerwood. Ain't right doing business sober. I could fix that for you. Uh, why call it the Kraken's Eye? What else? It was the glory of my fighting years. <laughs> the beast pulled nearly seven full crews into its belly before it was brought down. I was at the helm that day, and for that, my captain gifted me one of the beast's eyes. Toro's eyes glitter with pride as he points to the wall just right of the counter. My proudest moment and my dearest treasure. I would not part with it for all the world. Let's leave. So if he steal it, we might he might want uh, he might buy it back or something like that. We don't know. What can I do you for? Okay. The Juana ought to keep to themselves. And when the next storm hits. Some food. Fresh Race fish. you to the coral. No contest. What? Just because you have fingers and I can't swim? You are a strange man. I can't steal her fish. What is this? Port Maya trading post. Really? Altaria, let's talk. <clears throat> Ado, begging your pardon for the mess, miss. <laughs> we are still recovering from the storm. Oh, uh, hey there, Altaria. We have supplies here for the paying customer. Provisions for the road, perhaps? <sighs> Such a wide variety of accents. Let's see what you have. Have a look. Wow, infinite medical supplies. Infinite repair supplies. Ring of minor deflection. That's that's pretty minor. You can retrain a character at, at every uh, merchant. That's interesting. Okay, let's check out the market. I would be stealing. Henrik is the only one selling stuff. Reparu worker. Carvings. Oh yes, this one is many centuries old. Blessed by Ngati herself. Magnificent. Hey Henrik. Here you find civilization, Aimika. But outside these walls, the jungle will eat you alive. Amika is friend. That is. Unless you prepare yourself, ne? Show me what you got. And prudent decision. I don't know about that. Don't care too much. I think we are fine at this point. Uh, personal inventory. I 
I should probably have less things in my personal inventory. Requires one arcana. So, what kind of armor I have, for example? He uses medium armor, I use medium armor, she uses medium armor. They're basically the same. Saints war armor is... It's pretty good. That's clearly the best. Second chance. Revive. That's really good. You got a light armor, medium armor, light armor again. Now this is just fine at this point. I don't have to care about it that much. Rinko's house, governor's estate, and Port Maya jail. You have to do something. Any of us could be next. Oh? I cannot imagine who might wish to harm you, Mestre. Captain Darmo. Really? Maybe this is a good time to take a break, so thanks for watching guys and see you next time.